Hey guys, Don here. Um, I was uh, talking to someone recently, and uh, we were we were talking about the uh, the the five minute journal. And uh, the five minute journal is this thing that I use. It's like the gratitude journal. And then he was telling me, well, there's the six minute journal. And I guess it's a new one. They're probably competing with the five minute journal. And I was saying, well, we should do the seven minute journal. And uh, and not that I want to make a journal or do something else. I'm already too kind of scattered the way it is. But then he said to me, you know, Don, the best ideas are stolen. And the, you can call it copying, you can call it appreciating. But I, I think the best ideas and the best way to improve our practice as many times is, is either stealing ideas or shadowing ideas from what other people are doing. That's the key. The problem is we just don't have a forum for knowing what other people are doing and being where people want to help each other. That's what I've kind of put together Podiatry Practice Mastery. It's a place that we can kind of share ideas and uh, share things that work. So the thing I want to talk to you about today is stealing an idea. Uh, I'd like to know your feedback on this. So I went, I had my uh, my cell phone, uh, you know, the, the case that covers, not the case that's on the outside, but that covers the screen, the screen cover. So my kids um, are starting to like, they saw it and they're like, they tried to pull it off and then my, I couldn't get a good image on my camera and I was just all frustrated. And I, and I went to this place called You Break It, I Fix It, basically. It's a little cell phone replay, repair place. And they had different options, you know. But I had the curved Samsung phone, so they said, oh, sorry, we can't put the traditional one on, which is like 10 or 15 bucks. You have to buy this liquid glass. And I'm like, liquid glass? What is this? Um, it, it's basically this um, liquid <laughs> that they spray on the, on, the, on, the, on the cover of your phone, and it's guaranteed uh, to not break. Basically, it's like five times stronger. Or it's not going to break, this and that. There's no real, pro- there might be a protection on it, but I thought it was kind of voodoo, frankly. I thought it was voodoo. I was like, maybe they just might just, they could just put water in this little spray can and charge me $50. And I was like, wow, what a great business opportunity. Not that I want to do that, but in terms of insurance, right? Even if, they, let's say they're going to refund $300 or whatever the price of my phone is, to, to fix the screen if it breaks, they could get everyone putting this liquid liquid stuff on it, and then you know how many they're going to actually have to pay out was very very few. But taking it away, uh, taking something away, how can we steal something from this idea? It's not really with a cell phone, but the idea is the after sell, okay? Because what they did is after I bought that uh, screen or that liquid, and they put it on for me, and I paid fifty bucks, and I was happy because it looks a lot better, and I have better images now uh, on my on my on my uh, camera but what what they did after was they weren't really good at it but what what they could have done was amazing then they said hey by the way you know you're paying seventy dollars let's say it's fifty dollars for this if you we'll give it to you for free or for like 25 bucks if you sign up for our monthly protection of all your devices at home so basically they had this upsell where they're for 25 dollars a month I could get all of my devices protected. And we didn't do it, basically because they weren't really good at selling it. They had a little thing in front where they showed all these other iPads and cell phones and computers and and uh, like screens and, and things like that. And I could have uh, bought this for $25 a month. And they said, basically, you can just stay on and you can cancel any time. So I could have just joined and then I could cancel right away and actually made money on the deal. I just didn't want the hassle. But the takeaway, and I've mentioned this before, that Panera, they have started this thing for like eight bucks a month. You can get all the coffee you can drink. You can sit there and drink as much as you want. You can go there every single day, you know, much better than like a price of a Starbucks or a price of somewhere else. And then you'll probably eat some food when you're there. You know, how can we do something with our patients um, that they're already kind of using and they need, and then we can turn that into something that's recurrent, and the only thing I could, I've been able to think of up to this point would be orthotics. Like, if you could have, like, let's call it orthotics for life, okay? And so patients, they come in to see you, and then they pay <clears throat> whatever it is. Let's say instead of paying 550 for a pair of orthotics, they could pay, let's say, $10 a month for the rest, for, and they get a new pair every three years or five years or something like that. And depending, however, you need to work the number, and then you could add other things to it, other benefits, other you could add uh, like an outgrowth program for kids. You could add uh, breakage protection for adults. You could add, I don't know, the gold plated orthotics. You can order, a, get a free second pair. Or you can, you know, get a dress pair. You can get, you know, all these other types of options. But 
I think that would be a neat idea of doing something called orthotics for life, but I think it would be hard to do it each individual, each individual podiatrist, uh, just because it's a lot to, to like warranty and maintain and things like that. So if there was a, a smart uh, orthotic company out there, they might want to consider to do orthotics for life. Or maybe it could be a finance company, like an insurance company, kind of like Care Credit, which we use. They could do, you know, they could do the, the financing of it, and then basically the doctor who signs them up would would get the uh, would get the fee, right? So the doctor, let's say, paying their ten bucks a month, the doctor would get the same price, five hundred instead of five fifty, they would do five hundred or something like that. And then as long as they stick around for so many months. And then they would get some type of marketing. I think that's that would be the key. Uh, maybe like a monthly m- newsletter about how you could take care of your orthotics, and uh, what you know what you should do to to get the best use out of them, to protect them. What what are the best shoes for orthotics? And then you could do a lot of co co marketing with it. Anyway, that's just the idea. That's the best stolen idea. So stealing an idea from my cell phone uh, cover. Uh, escapade to doing this for something like orthotics. Okay. Love to know what your thoughts are. Um, I'm always adding new content to podiatry practice mastery. Please join the membership. Uh, let me know what you think. A couple of people have been asking me, uh, one person, actually not a couple, just one. I said, Don, we should start a mastermind. And, uh, I'm kind of type time poor right now, but if there are other people that would like kind of a, a, a group, I would say maybe five or 10 people, and you guys wanted to kind of get together, share ideas. I'm not sure the best forum. I would love an asynchronous form, forum. That just means like you can do it whenever you have a spare minute between patients versus like a two-hour commitment once a week. Um, that would be my preference is not having that commitment because I'm just working too much these days. But if there would be a way we could do it maybe asynchronistically, either on WhatsApp or one of these other um, uh, online things where we could share different, Hey, I want to share this idea. I got this question. Why don't you look at this for me? And we could all kind of participate with one another. Um, would love to know what you guys think of this mastermind idea. If you're interested, email me, uh, Don at podiatrypracticemastery.com or you can text me. Okay. Have a great day guys.